All right, hey guys. So welcome back to another, I guess this is an episode of the series, Hey Jamie, What Would You Do? And I'm gonna talk about probably every stepmom's worst nightmare is what would I do or what did I do when my stepkid said he did not have to listen to me because I am not his mom. <laughs> All right, so here is what the question is. Hey Jamie, my stepson just said that he doesn't have to listen to me because I'm not his mom. He refuses to listen to me and I do so much for him. It's getting really draining and I don't know what to do. I am tell you a little story. So we were on a ski trip once and we're just hanging out after our day skiing. And I said to my, one of my stepsons, I said, hey, can you just go put your uh, ski helmet away? I got out of the blue, the death look, and he's like, no, I am not putting it away. I said, no, you need to put your helmet away. Like there's stuff everywhere. He says, no, I don't have to listen to you. You're not my mom. It was like someone had punched me in the gut. I knew it was coming, right? Like it's pretty age appropriate for a kid to push boundaries like that. Knew it was gonna happen at some point in time, but still it freaking hurt. So we go through the rest of the ski vacation. We come home and we're back to real life. And I still am really, really hurt. We didn't deal with it in the moment. I'm all about natural consequences and you know, dealing with issues in a, at a time when all of a sudden the big picture's clear, if that makes sense. So we're back to regular life and my stepson spilt mustard on his shirt. So he comes up to my room. He's like, hey, Jamie, um, can you get this mustard out of my shirt? And I'm thinking, oh, well, I thought I wasn't your mom. Like, why do I have to do the mustard in your shirt? But I did it. The next day I'm sitting doing some work. He comes out and he asks if I can do some laundry for him and then asked me if I can take him into his friends. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh yeah, but I'm not your mom. So I go into his room and I said, hey, I need to talk to you about something. Remember on the weekend when you said that you don't have to listen to me because you're not my mom, I'm not your mom. And he says, yeah, I said, just so you know, that really, really hurt my feelings. Uh, it really hurt my feelings. I know I'm not your mom. I am never going to try to be your mom, but I do a lot of the motherly jobs in this home and I really, really do my best to provide you with a good life while you're here. So you get to decide how things are gonna go in our relationship. If you don't wanna like me and you don't wanna listen to me and you don't want to have that type of relationship, that's totally fine, you have that choice. You get to decide how you feel and how you act, but you need to understand that there are going to be consequences for that. Because if you don't have to listen to me because I'm not your mom, why do I have to rub the mustard out of your shirt? Why do I have to do all the laundry? Why do I have to run you to your friends and drop what I'm doing? You're not my kid, so why would I have to do that for you because you don't have to listen to me because I'm not your mom? Do you get what I'm saying here? Like this goes two ways. So you decide how you want this to go what you want a relationship to look like. But I'm not going to be disrespected and then expected to do all the things for you. It's just not gonna happen. So it was a very, very frank conversation. I said, look, buddy, I love you. I'm not going anywhere. I am married to your dad. I am an adult in this house. This is how it is. But I am not going to be treated like crap and then expected to step up. It not happening. Kids just need to understand that they can't treat someone like crap and expect them to continue to do all the things for them. It's just not gonna happen. So stepmoms, please know that you can say no. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you wanna know that what I would do in a situation, send it to hello at jamiescrimger.com, leave it in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and share this with a stepmom who needs to hear it. And I'm gonna see you in the next one, thanks.